this message, but I hope you've had a good Christmas um, and a happy new year. Hopefully it's going to be better than last year. Uh, finally, I had some bits turn up. I thought they were never coming, but finally I got yeah, those for the end of the pipes. So I can finally get that new pump going. You yeah, remember the big one? Yeah. And while these turned up, it should have been two. I don't know why they sent them in individual packets. So I have one so we can get the mash ton. Get it out with this now so we can use mash ton PID for temperature reading. Around the line on the STC, that's just something there. So that I'm going to fit very shortly, as in in the next clip. Right, here we go. And these for the for the PIDs. Where are we? Here. So you can see that. Only go one way. Two pen. I can't mount these because I forgot to get the boxes. That I need to mount them in last Thursday when I was at work. So, so I can drill a hole, mount it on the front of the box, screw it, screw it on, put the cable in. It's probably a bit big, I might wrap some tape around it or something just to give it a grip so it doesn't pull. Um, as I said, fully closed there and there's no way that's going to fit a thermocouple cable. Far too small. Oh, you've got these open, but we'll open one on that. Right. Bear with me. Use yourselves there. Right, yeah, now that's going to be. As you see, it's going to be too small a cable, so I'll wrap a bit of tape around it or something that we cut off anyway and see how we go and I'll solder the connections on I've got a solder on there, there somewhere so that'll be not only that that'll be in a future episode Hungry Wednesday so I've so been doing a bit of digging on switching to electric. I asked a few people out there on Facebook land, a few of the grips. A few are saying get the ultra low watt density heat elements. Um, definitely have to run off a PID and relay. Um, I was thinking maybe going two elements rather than one. One two point five and one three. So if I run five five point five to get it up to boil and then kick out the three. I don't know if the three would end up scorching. I know I've seen a few people with I don't know if they're using what elements they're using. Are they using three kilowatt, two kilowatt? I think the three probably would end up scorching, especially when it's a sticky sticky mash, you know, sugary mash, not mash, wort. Well, I've been looking at a new switch to replace that one, so I've got a three position switch off one and two, so I can do click it back to one for one element, over to two for two elements, um, or just one element. But if you use something like a 2.4, 2.5, three and a half, I don't want to go down the route of ending up having scorch wart every time I do a brew. Um, so if you could let me know what you use for your electric boilers, I'd be interested. Because gas is okay, but colder weather's got out the door closed and the gas is going. And it gets, as you saw, very cold in here. Um, unless you stand up and then it's absolutely boiling. But yeah, still time without here electric. Um, not sure 
what? Bit more investigation. Got stuff bookmarked. Now, if I can get four, 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 even, uh, two and a half, or two twos, and two two and a halves, and two threes for the price of one ultra low density element. <coughs> but they're the good long elements as well, so they're not like the small kettle elements. I'll say they're about 12 inches long, but they're looped. They loop over back on themselves and then back in the other side. So I'm wondering, would that be something similar? I don't know. Um, presume it must be if it's going to be that long. It's going to be like two and a half. I can have a three. And here somewhere. Hold on, I'll put you back. That's what I've got in the HLT. That's a three kilowatt. The ones I've seen are they come out like that, and then they go up and back around, back down and in. So that's a twin element one there, as you can see. That's why I'm using the HLT, which is three kilowatt. Takes about. It would probably do the job that I want as well, but eh, scorching. You know, fairly high power with sticky wart. I know the wart will be up to some kind of temperature already. But three kilowatt. Hmm. Decisions. Um and I've been told the ultra watt. No scorching issues at all. Uh, I found a source that I can get a four and a half kilowatt for let me see. About sixty euros delivered, including duty. Anywhere I've seen same one well, three and a half or sixty sterling if you're talking about a hundred um hundred euro near give or take time you had carriage um which is a lot for an element that you're gonna you know, burn in your wart with so uh, that's a coated one should have got stainless but there you go good job for the hlt because it's only water I think they're around about 657 quid. Got two, and it's back up for the other one. Still going strong, have it on a 16 amp blue plug. Um, on a 2.5mm 3 core cable. So that's plenty of power going to it. Um, so I do the 5 kilowatt one with a 32 amp commercial plug. Four square, probably even six square. Well, six square coming to the shed is good enough for 40 amps. 40 amps plus, I think, because that's what you can run Triton showers on. Um, and, the and the main fuse board to here is only about 15 20 feet. So it's plenty of capacity in the shed. Um, but decisions. Right, so what else came in? Oh yeah, I showed you them. Showed you that. Showed you those. I think you know how to put one of these on a pipe. Yeah, hope so. Right, I'm gonna fit this now. So give me a chance to get set up, and I should show you a bit of hole drilling. Oh, the excitement! Right, positioning. I would like to put it here, but I can't because the manifold needs to come in and out. So it's no good there, so I'm going to have to come in the side here. So I do. So I want to keep it fairly low, so it's going to go about there, I think. Well, hopefully I can still, you know, I might have to move it back just so I've got access to get in the manifold. Because when I put it in, it fits tight against this so it doesn't slide out of here. So, I might just go there with it. It gives me still a bit of angle to put it in. Or I'm going to have to redesign the manifold. Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to go there. Really, I should go near the middle. Keeps it in the middle of the last tunnel. Eh? Yes, we're going to go middle. 
That's it. So, we're going to go in here. Uh, go in there. Right, where's that comes off the box? Right. right. The cordless wasn't charged up. Ew. So, I'm going to put these down so you can see what I'm doing. Probably not. Ben and Greer it, bear it for the moment. Let's take that out because I don't want to go any bigger. I know what'll take it because I know what'll happen. Now I know this is a bit small, so I'm just hoping to have the whole cut. Nah. It's gonna need a trim for the washer, which is no big problem. Change bits, so I do the smaller hole to go through the inner part. Listen, I'm only using this one because it's 21mm, so I use for drilling the pots, carbide tipped. I think it was about a tenner on eBay. Go for drilling stainless steel. Uh, let's just go through quite easy. You can see what I'm doing here. Um, do I have a blade? I do. some PTFE on the threads as well just in case I never tell which way it's supposed to go as long as it's on there it should be alright I think you're supposed to put it the way it, so it can unravel itself and jam in the threads couldn't doubt it right this washer in here. Washer on the other side, it's got a recess on the bolt. So that goes on the inside like so. Just 
Push these in. I'm going to go in with two washers. I'll only put one washer on anyway. There must be a spare, I hope. Oh, I don't want something to tighten this up with, I think so. Not too much mocking about. We are in. Hopefully one will do it because there's no it's too tight with two. And as you can see, nicely in. Should be able to get the manifold in there. Jeez, that needs a clean. Not as bad as it looks on camera. Um so that's that. Spin this round. Yeah, you can see that's in there now. That's how that'll fit in. Must be using for temperature gauges rather than probes, but shoved in there with a bit of something in it. That'll do the trick. So that's mask ton upgraded. Just need to fill that with a bit of insulation, bubble wrap or something. And that'll Help, help the heat loss. Right, I'll catch you in a minute. That's the mesh ton from the new thermal well. Hopefully, I'll, the other one will turn up the post for the boil pot. If not, it's going to have to be one of the big giant ones. Um, also, yeah, I'll do a video of the quick, di quick disconnects for the thermocouples. Um, get them connected up hopefully next week or this weekend or next weekend I'm not sure I'll get the parts from work um, so I think that's it for this week have a good one and I'll see you in a week cheers